Alethea Taylor, an active and popular member of a close-knit community, seen here performing with her local choir. Her husband John, an undertaker, was also a member, but he was besotted with another woman and would go on to kill his wife. Oh, she was a lovely lady. Always seemed to be smiling, happy. She's just greatly missed. Um, I can speak for all the villagers, they'll all say the same. In January last year, those villagers joined together in a desperate search around the village of Alton. Alethea, a retired teacher, had mysteriously vanished. I'm not going to stop whatsoever. We will keep going and keep going and keep going. But it was a search that would prove fruitless. Alethea Taylor has never been found. When it was so difficult to, to find Alethea and there was just no trace at all and the police have been questioning and questioning and asking about John uh, as much as Alethea and uh, so I think maybe the villagers sort of come to terms with the fact that, that John might have uh, been guilty of her murder. Other people who I've spoken to here in Alton who were close to John Taylor have described him as a respected member of the local community. For example, he would give up his free time to help out here at the village hall. Despite no body being found, the police charged John Taylor with murder. His motive, an affair with widow Alison Dearden, who lived in a neighbouring village. Before Alethea disappeared, Taylor had made it known in Alton that his wife was suffering from dementia. Detectives say this was a ruse to make her disappearance more plausible. Bloodstains were found on a duvet at the couple's home and in Taylor's car. Taylor tried to explain them away by claiming his wife had been suffering heavy nosebleeds. Whether Alethea's body is ever found or not, her disappearance from this community will leave a gaping hole for many years to come. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Herefordshire.